In the frozen expanse of Antarctica, one volcano stands out not only for its ceaseless activity, but for a truly astonishing behaviour. Mount Erebus is constantly releasing tiny particles of gold into the air. Each day this remote volcano emits about 80 grams of gold as microscopic dust, a quantity worth roughly 9,300 Australian dollars or 6,000 US dollars every single day. To the surprise of scientists, Mount Erebus effectively spews out gold alongside its usual plume of steam and volcanic gases. This remarkable phenomenon, first noticed by researchers decades ago, has been confirmed in recent years and remains ongoing. How can a volcano literally puff out valuable gold dust? And why does Mount Erebus in particular maintain such a steady golden output? To answer these questions, we need to explore the volcano's unique geology, the mineral chemistry of its magma, and the physical processes that carry gold from deep underground into the Antarctic skies. Mount Erebus is the southernmost active volcano on Earth, rising about 3,794 metres above sea level on Ross Island, a rugged outcrop at the edge of Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf. In a land dominated by ice and extreme cold, Erebus provides a rare source of heat and geological activity. The volcano has been continuously active for decades, with reports of an open lava lake bubbling away in its summit crater since at least 1972. Geologically, Mount Erebus is a stratovolcano built up from many eruptions over tens to hundreds of thousands of years. Its lower flanks formed from older broad lava flows, while its upper cone grew from more recent, somewhat thicker lava outpourings. Uniquely, Erebus is currently erupting a type of lava known as phonolite, an uncommon silica-rich volcanic rock that is high in alkaline elements like sodium and potassium. The phonolite magma of Erebus is notable for containing abundant large crystals of a mineral called anorthoclase, a type of feldspar. These pale glassy crystals, nicknamed Erebus crystals by geologists, can often be found strewn around a crater, evidence of the lava lake tossing out bits of semi-molten rock that then freeze in the frigid air. The presence of such crystals tells us that the magma beneath Erebus is relatively viscous, or sticky, and gas-rich, prone to slowly oozing and bubbling rather than exploding violently. Indeed, Mount Erebus is known for its continuous mild eruptions, often characterised by Strombolian activity, where gas bubbles burst and throw lava bombs out of the lake rather than infrequent cataclysmic blasts. Another key aspect of Erebus's geology is its location. Here, the Earth's crust is relatively thin, which means magma from deep within the Earth's mantle can rise up more easily. Mount Erebus essentially taps into a persistent supply of molten rock from below. This steady magma supply is one reason the volcano maintains a constant lava lake and continuous activity. While most volcanoes erupt in fits and starts, Erebus behaves more like a persistent leaky cauldron, always simmering and releasing heat rather than a pressure cooker that explodes only occasionally. This unusual stability sets the stage for its golden emissions. Volcanic magma is not just liquid rock, it also contains a cocktail of dissolved gases and a medley of chemical elements including metals. Gold is one of the many trace elements found in magmas around the world, usually in extremely small concentrations. In fact, the amount of gold in typical volcanic rock is minuscule, measured in parts per billion. However, under the right conditions, even that tiny amount of gold can be mobilised and transported by the volcano's eruptive processes. Mount Erebus's phonolite magma appears to contain traces of gold that became vaporised and carried upward by volcanic gases. The mineralogy of Mount Erebus provides clues to its chemistry. Phonolite lavas often have high levels of volatile components like sulphur, chlorine and fluorine. These volatile substances come out of solution as gas when pressure drops near the surface much like fizz escaping from a shaken soda bottle. In Erebus's case, the magma is continuously degassing through the lava lake, releasing steam, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride, and other gases into the air. These volcanic gases can react with various elements in the magma. One important clue from scientific studies is that gold likely pairs up with chlorine inside the volcano. Chlorine is abundant in many volcanic gases, and at the extreme temperatures of magma, well over 1000 degrees Celsius, gold can form gaseous gold chloride compounds. In essence, tiny amounts of gold become incorporated into the hot gas phase in the form of invisible molecules. In 1991, a team of geologists made a startling discovery when they sampled the air and snow around Mount Erebus. They found microscopic crystalline gold particles in the volcanic plume, and even in snow deposits kilometres away from the crater. 
This was the first time scientists documented that a volcano was emitting elemental gold in measurable quantities. Remarkably, the amount of gold leaving the volcano was estimated at around 80 grams per day, confirming that the trace gold in the magma was indeed being carried out by volcanic gases. Decades later, researchers returned to measure the phenomenon again, and found a similar rate of gold output, indicating that the volcano's daily golden contribution has remained steady over time. To visualise how small this gold is, the particles collected were often only a few micrometers, millionths of a meter in size, basically dust. Some particles found on the ice downwind of Erebus were about 50 to 60 micrometers across at most, which is barely visible as a tiny speck. These grains are pure gold or gold compounds that condensed from the gas emitted by the lava. The journey of gold from deep underground up into the air involves several steps and processes. In simplified terms, here is how Mount Erebus emits gold into the atmosphere. Deep inside the earth, gold is present in a molten rock feeding Mount Erebus, though only in trace amounts. This gold might originally be mixed within the minerals of the magma or dissolved in the melt. It is not visible as nuggets or veins, but it's there at a chemical level. As magma rises to the surface and pressure decreases, volcanic gases begin to escape. Crucially, chemical elements like gold can attach to these gases. In the intense heat, Gold likely combines with gases such as chlorine or sulfur to form a volatile compound. For example, a gold chloride vapor. This means the gold effectively becomes part of the gas phase, dispersed molecule by molecule in the hot fumes rising from the lava. The hot gases carrying those gold-bearing molecules exit the magma at the lava lake surface. Mount Erebus's open lava lake acts like a continuous vent, allowing gases to stream out freely. Along with common gases like steam and carbon dioxide, these trace metal vapors are released into the open air as part of the volcanic plume. Once the gas escapes the vent and mixes with the outside air, it rapidly cools down. The environment around Erebus is incredibly cold, often far below freezing, so as the volcanic plume rises and drifts, its temperature drops dramatically. When the temperature falls, the gases can no longer hold some of the metals in vapor form. The gold-bearing molecules break down, and the gold condenses into solid form. In this moment, tiny crystals or particles of gold precipitate out of the gas, rather like dew condensing out of moist air. Except here, it's tiny flecks of gold coming out of volcanic gas. The newly formed microscopic gold particles then get carried by the wind. They are so small and light that they float within the plume and can travel long distances. Around Mount Erebus, strong winds can distribute this gold dust far and wide across the Antarctic atmosphere. Scientists have detected traces of these gold particles in air samples and snow deposits up to 1,000 kilometers away from the volcano, showing just how far the particles can drift. Over time, the gold dust will settle out of the air or become trapped in snow and ice, effectively sprinkling tiny amounts of gold across the ice fields. Through these steps, Mount Erebus manages to transport gold from the depths of the magma to the surface environment. It's important to note that the concentration of gold in the volcanic gas is extremely low, which is why these particles are microscopic. Even though 80 grams of gold are emitted daily, this gold is dispersed in many thousands of tons of gas and across vast areas. So it's not something one could see glittering in the sky or easily gather in a jar. In fact, if you were standing near the crater, you wouldn't notice the gold with your naked eyes at all. Only through careful scientific sampling and analysis can the gold dust be detected. Nonetheless, the fact that this is happening is extraordinary. It provides direct evidence that volcanoes can act as natural gold factories, capable of vaporizing and then depositing elemental gold. This mechanism is essentially a real-time demonstration of how certain ore deposits might form in nature, through the cooling of mineral-rich vapors, albeit on a very small scale in the open air. Not every volcano continuously emits gold like Mount Erebus does. In fact, although many volcanoes might release trace metals in their gases, Mount Erebus is special in how persistent and measurable its gold output is. The idea of a volcano spitting out gold sounds almost mythical, yet Mount Erebus proves it to be real. Scientifically, this discovery is significant because it demonstrates a direct link between deep earth geochemistry and surface environments. It confirms that precious metals can be transported in volcanic gases and then deposited as solids, validating theories about how metal ores might form from volcanic and hydrothermal activity. In many gold mining regions across the world, the gold in the ground originally came from ancient volcanic or hot spring systems that concentrated the metal. What we see in Mount Erebus is essentially that process in action, albeit dispersing the gold into the air rather than into localized veins or rocks. 
Mount Erebus is a marvel of geology for multiple reasons. It is a volcano that maintains a permanent lava lake in one of the coldest places on Earth. And in a twist that sounds almost like a fairy tale, it laces its icy surroundings with a fine dusting of real gold. Thanks to its unique geology and steady activity, Mount Erebus manages to transfer a tiny bit of Earth's hidden treasure from below ground into the atmosphere each day. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.